Awesome, All right, Sounds welcome fun. everybody. Welcome everybody. This is our live stream. Uh, thank you for waiting. We're starting a little bit late of time, but hopefully everyone can hear us uh, well. Everybody can see us well. The teams are getting ready. So we're very excited for this uh, rematch between two schools, the LFNY from New York and Albayan Bilingual School from, uh, from, from Kuwait. Uh, so today is a special event. Today we have with us a co-host, a co-commentator. Her name is Hashmia. She's coming from Al She's coming from uh, BBS, and I'll let her briefly introduce herself. Hashmia, it's your time now. Yes. Hello. I'm Hashmia, and I'm a ninth grader at BBS. I have joined the esports team this summer, and I'm going to be the co-commentator. Co in today in today's stream all right thank you hashmia and this is our first time uh doing anything similar like that so having a co-commentator so uh it's a, it's a something new for us so if if something goes uh wrong let us know in the chat and for those viewers uh, who are here with us let us know from where you're watching and which team you are rooting uh we have two teams let us know which team you are here for and i think um everyone is um everyone is ready so why don't we jump uh, so why don't we uh, why don't we uh, jump into the game? Just give me one second. Some technical um, technical uh, not difficulties, but final preparations.
All right, and it looks like we are ready to go in. All right, so we are in the game and we have two uh, teams of players. Um, and Hashmia, for those of uh, viewers who are watching this game for the first time, uh, do you mind explaining the game a little bit, how it works and uh, what is the purpose of Capture the Flag? So Capture the Flag is basically when two teams, the blue team and the red team, go each other and try to get each other's flag to go to the other side and that's how they get points. It focuses mainly on teamwork and collaboration, and it's a really fun game to play. Thank you, Hashmia, for this uh, very beautiful summary. So I'm just putting some settings in place uh, to make sure that the game runs smoothly. But we have all teams ready, and the game is about to start. <clears throat> so like Hashmia said, uh, the purpose of the game uh, the purpose of this game is to defend your flag and capture the flag um, of the opposing team. Uh, today we have uh, with us two teams. Uh, we have BBS on the blue side and we have uh, we have L, uh, LF, NY uh, on the red side. So that's the team. Uh, on the on the red team on the red side the purpose of the game is for teams to defend their flag uh, the flags are right here uh, and to, and meanwhile capture the flag of the opposing team uh, Hashmia you've played this uh, game many times before in fact you actually led the team before so what is what is one of what is the biggest challenge in, in this in this uh, map for, for for both teams in your opinion the biggest challenge in this map is staying together. There are many members, obviously, and the members have to each capture the flag, attack the players, and try to defend their base. So I think that doing all three of those things at the same time is a really hard thing to do. Right, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for this comment. Uh, Hashmia has been a team lead for the BBS team uh, during our match versus the team uh, from Hawaii. Um, yeah, and so it looks like both teams are really cautious this time. Uh, they're just protecting their flag. They're setting up their defense. Uh, so we see um, the LF and Y team uh, is using bedrock to defend their, their flag to build some strategy we have Ali actually breaking the defense of the of the red team that's sort of unexpected and Ali is taking some hits it looks like he's getting low on health but he's defeated one player he's he's pvping another one and he's oh well he took with him about three players uh from the uh, lf and y team uh, well this is a really good try for ali i think the the red team was totally uh was caught off guard they were not ready for the bbs player to attack their team so early uh that was very intense yeah. for ali the blue team seems to be preparing to get resources right now um, all right. Yeah. So are they? So are they trying to mine, or do you see a team of miners on the blue team side? I see the blue team collecting some wood and preparing for battle, I guess. And let me see where the red team is going. The red team is currently mining around and placing bedrock around their flag. Okay. Well, it looks like the blue team is uh, getting ready to attack. We have student eleven from the BBS team who is entering the uh, the main entrance, but there are just too many players on the red team for the BBS player. Although he he was able to take to take one player uh, with him, uh, but it was eventually uh, defeated by the red defense. So there's an Ali one more time, and Ali's trying to yeah. go straight for the flag, and he's he's capturing the flag. He's going up the stairs, trying to make his way back. It looks like he's getting some shots. Uh, he's making his way around the map. Uh, his movement is really great. He doesn't have any weapons though, but he's he's making it, and it doesn't look like anyone is trying to stop him. Uh, Hashmir, do you think he's gonna make it? He probably will. I see him running back to the base. Student 12E and Student 13 e are waiting for him, for trying to protect. Yeah. I don't see anyone coming back from the red team for their flag. 
Yeah, and it looks like it looks like there's a little bit of miscommunication between uh, the students because they didn't open the door for Ali, and that's a first team, first point for for the BBS team for the blue team, and that was spectacular. Did you, Hashmi? Did you did you, were you able to catch the movement of from Ali? Yes, I was. He went on top of that tree right over here where I'm standing at and jumped all the way to his base. Yeah, yeah. It seems that, it seems that the red team is a little off course. Though. Yeah, They've yeah. been going outside of their base right next to the woods. Yeah, and, and that was their strategy last time as well. For those of you who was uh, with us last time, uh, Red Team or the L LF1A team from New York, they were actually mining resources outside their base last time. Uh, last time they were on the blue side and they located a mine right here. There's a mine located next to the blue base uh right around here that's the mine and so what they were actually did they had a team of miners who would go inside the mine and actually by the end of the game uh some of the players from the lf and y team had diamond swords and diamond armor so this time it, they're trying to oh look at that Ashme, if you can teleport to me and see we have a, a a group of lf and y team trying to sneak around the blue base they're going really far out and i think the, oh, actually trying. Oh, look at that. That's right. They are mining resources from the same from the same mine. And the blue team captures this, the flag one more time. Uh, we're totally missing the the show, and it looks like uh, the red team. I wonder who is that. Um, well, I think it's Ali one more time. Yeah, I think Ali is carrying the blue team's flag yeah, one more time. Is. Although the red team has really high defense with all their webs, it looks like Ali just defeated them. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, look at that. The, the red team is trying to recapture the flag. We have student 13 who is trying to deviate them. And this is the second point for the oh. BBS team. But listen, uh, the student 12 had not defended the, the entrance, but it gave some time. So actually bought some time for Ali to go and score the second point. So meanwhile, we have uh, LF and Y team, team of miners really, um, Mining for resources uh, right here. We can see two players. And Hashmia, do you think it's a good strategy now? Do you think that what they're trying to do is they're trying to replicate the strategy that uh, that um, uh, helped them win last time? Honestly, last time, BBS, the BBS team was kind of in a mess with the... Uh, uh, leading but currently if the red team does man uh, uh, oh Hashmi, i think you are i think you're breaking up a little bit to I think your I think your sound is is breaking up That's a little bit. Problem. Okay, we have a little we have a little skirmish. Oh, the red team rescues its flag. Yeah, sorry, Hashmir. They'd be way too overpowered. Yeah. Before the BBS. Yes, but well, listen. Uh, while we were talking about that, the red team, uh, the red team recaptured their flag. So now their their flag is in place, and the blue team had to. Uh, oh, there's a there's a there's an archer. There's an archer fight going on. Um, the student, uh, student six is trying to trying to archer, and there's a there's a melee fight, and it looks like the the. Um, can the, you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Fab. Yeah, uh, sorry, let's hush me. I can hear you. Yes, it seems that someone from the blue team actually left the server. I think he got disconnected. Uh, and yeah, I thought I thought I think El Match left the server, but uh, I think we the, the blue team, the BBS team, has has enough players to sub, so I think it should be no problem. Um, right, so yeah. <clears throat> so it looks like oh, looks like. Looks like Ali has been really persistent in his in his in his uh, penetrating the the red team, and there's a there's another Tam, but he was defeated by the red team. He's lot he's lost a lot of health there, uh, and he was picked up by by the second player. 
It seems that red team has its defense safe and open. Students, wait, what is that? Student 04E is, defe is defending the front and Student 03E is defending the back. We also have another member guarding the door. Yeah, and if I think... If only they could capture the blue team's flag, they might actually win. Yeah, that looks like it. But looking at the... I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, I was just saying, look at the at the defense of the red team. That looks very solid. Uh, if you look at their defense, they put the spider web all, all around their red flag to make sure that when Ali is there one more time with his crazy movement, they're making sure that he won't be able to get away quite easily as he did last time. Yeah, but look at the blue teams as well. They have webs and bedrock all over their base. Yeah, so let's see the the defense of the blue team. They have a they have a, a similar strategy. Oh, the blue team captures the red flag one more time. Oh. Seems like the the all all the action that is happening and is it Ali this time or yeah, it's it's him again and somehow he was able to get over the defense and and there's nobody stopping him and. He and no, a red team player is following him, but he's dead. Shouldn't yeah. well he killed him. Yeah. So and listen, I think I think there's there's really nothing stopping Ali, a player from the BBS team, uh, to just go inside their base and and get their flag. He's done it three times already, and even with the defense that the NFY FNYC was able to set up, it's, it still manages to 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 get away. Um, without uh, any effort really so Hashmi, if you were the, the coach tides have turned. sorry how the tides have turned from last game <laughs> yeah Hashmi, if you were the coach of the red team what would you have them do how would they what would you tell them to do to stop one player from the bbs team to dominate their team I'd suggest that they start mining from underground to the other team's base. One person does that and one person attacks. That way no one notices that someone's mining all the way there. Right. It would be a... Oh, if you see here, there's a red team player trying to make its their way to the blue team's base using uh, going outside of the wall using materials such as dirt currently okay let me let me teleport to you okay Over yeah here all right and uh so this is the the red team and he's trying to flank the blue but i think he, i think he got spotted i think he got spotted by student 12 uh yeah and i don't think it doesn't look promising student 12 is trying to is trying to knock down the nfyc player and their movement is not really student 11. yeah oh look at that and student i think as oh is this op oh El elmaged has spotted him he's going in he's currently trying to mine his way in let's see what his other teammates are doing so there's two people defending uh, the front. One person is defending the back. I don't see the other players though. Are we have a, we have an players? interesting. We've got an interesting structure in the middle of the map. We have a little skirmish here uh, between the BBS, LF, and YC, uh, uh, LF and Y. Uh, we have a little interesting structure in the middle of the map. Uh, some kind of a wooden structure. I don't know what it is. A kind of a bridge or a pass over uh, to the to the tree. But it looks like students trying to make use of the terrain to make sure their movement is not tampered with. So I'm looking at student 13 who's got. A lot lots and lots of blocks of tree and they're trying to build some structure i don't know how it's going to work out um it also looks like ali has got himself a shield um to to protect himself from heats uh from from the red team and it looks like he's going for another attack he's trying to flank the team going all the way uh to the left of the base so let's see if he got spotted or not so far um 
I don't think the red team is aware of his presence, although he got spotted for, from by student four. So Ali changes his strategy. He's trying to, and the, the, the gate were open. So he's on his way. He's on his way to the flag. He's trying to build some, uh, some scaffolding to get him into the, uh, and there's a skirmish going on between student four and, 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 and Ali from the BBS. So let's see if Ali can sustain this damage. Ali was able to sustain the damage. He's, he's picking up the loot, but there are two other players at, oh, there were two players behind him. Two uh, players are attacking the red base. Yeah, the student 13 and Ali, but student 13 is trying to, to retreat. There's someone at the back as well. Someone's, Ali's distracting them. Ali too is going from the back. All right, so the whole thing was just a distraction. So Ali captured the flag. So the whole thing there was just a distraction for Ali too to get to the back of the Red Sea base and steal the <laughs> flag. How ingenious was that? And he's making his way on the roof. Wow, that was, I don't know it was if, it, if that was their strategy, but that played out really well for the BBS team, didn't it? Yeah, it was such a smart strategy. <laughs> yes, and we see arrows coming uh, to, f to catch the Ali too, but it's, I think it's too late. Oh, we have, um, we have this problem before. And... What happened? Uh, we have the silverfish invasion. <laughs> We have this problem before, uh, so <laughs> we have to fix this bug <laughs> so players don't get eaten by the silverfish. So hopefully, no one died. Uh, but yeah, the map has a little, the map has a little um, bug, I would say, where sometimes we'll see lots and lots of silverfish. So but that got uh, fixed. So our audience, uh, we have uh, lots of viewers from from both from either side. What do you think about the match? Um, if you if you saw a match, uh, this is another point for the blue team, and it's four to zero for the BBS. Um, so if you are Minecraft, if I remember, yes, go ahead, Hashim. I remember correctly. The game ends at five points, right? And then we start a new one. Uh, well, yes, the game is to five points and. Uh, we'll see if we have time to play another game, but yes, the game is up to five and, and it looks like it's going to be a draw between LF and Y and BBS. The LF and Y won the last game 5-0. The BBS was literally couldn't do anything. It was just a one side uh, victory for LF and Y. But this time it looks like BBS has gained some wisdom and they were able to strategize and they're looking pretty strong now. Uh, I mean, we haven't seen a, a, a single attempt by Elephant Y to capture the BBS flag. The BBS flag was... Oh, the, look, three people are coming ahead from Elephant Y. Yeah, I can Time see that. I can oh, see that. Student 12, we have spotted them. All the other team members are waiting behind that door. Yeah, they're trying, they're trying to break the iron doors and they get spotted. Oh, look at that. There's just there's too many BBS defenders down there. Uh, one fell down. Another is one other fell down. Has uh, fallen down. Oh. The BBS student one is trying. He's trying to one get B1. back. Yeah, yeah. It was. I think it was BBS uh, lost two players while LF and Y uh, student one is trying to get back. He's got a shield. He doesn't want to uh, lose his uh, inventory. Um, when his uh, character falls down, so he's trying to, <clears throat> he's trying to. Oh, he was. It was just in time to close the gates of their base. And I don't. I'm not sure if the players can hit each other through the door. But it looks like the blue team captures the red flag one more blue time. Blue team captures flag again. Yes, and it's Ali, and he's trying to make his who way. Who are you rooting for, Mr. Evgeny? Who do you think is gonna win at this point? Well, I think it's 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 safe to say that Ali is going to make his way back to their base because there's no one stopping him at this point. Uh, and it's going to be 5 to <laughs> 0 pretty soon. And red team captures the blue team's flag, which will prevent the blue team oh. to score the point. The red, the student 4 has just saved the day for the LF and Y team. So at this point, student 4 has There's the blue a, team's flag. Yep. There's a red, uh, a red team student who's lost, I think. But Hashmi, I think we're in an interesting point in the game where student four has got um, has got a flag and he cannot score the point because their flag is missing and the blue flag is right here. I can see the blue flag and I can see the student two has, has got the, the, the blue flag 
but they won't be able to score the point until their flag is returned. Oh no, do you know who has... Oh, two members of the blue team are coming. And yes, and they're trying, they're trying to get the the player, the second player who's got their flag. So let's see where where is he going. He's a very available um, person now in this map because he's carrying the blue team's flag, the flag that prevents the blue team to score the winning point. So the the red team has to do their best. And to... he's coming. So I'm and just he's right behind. Yeah, and he's trying. He's trying to archer the the student two. He's got the bow, and there's no way for the student two to go because Ali has got the bow. But he's hesitant to go inside because there are two players there. But it looks like student um, student one is trying to get away, and Ali's just archering the people in their base. And it looks like there's no one to stop him. We have another student in the in the red base. It's student twelve, and look at all this salute. Oh, that was yeah but i think i think ali is carrying the ali is carrying the red team's flag so it's just down to those players to retrieve their flag and be able to score the point point. and it's interesting how ali is just standing in the middle of the of the map but he's trying <clears throat> some, oh, no. but he got knocked down he got knocked down but he's in good position and student the five blue team flag. do you the see blue the blue team, team flag? flag yes i see it it's right here. Oh, they let me... might have a chance to retrieve it. So let me let me teleport to you to see. It's in the loot with the loot at least. You can see it right over yeah, there. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. And well, it's actually. Ah, uh, and actually, it's against the rule of the game to drop the flag. So it's it's not entirely legal. Okay, so student two is picking up the flag. Um, so I'll just let the players know who's carrying the flag. Okay, it seems that two students from the red team are trying to get to battle four students from the blue team. Oh, one red student is down. And two blue teams, Al Majd and Student 11, as well as Ali and Barak. And oh. another student. <laughs> Yeah and, coming in. yeah, and it looks like it's a rush. Look at this. The the entire blue team, they know they've got nothing to lose. They know their flag is in the red team. And for some reason, they're retrieving. It looks like they have an impression that they have the red team flag. Oh, they're a flag. And look at Tarik. I think Tarik has crafted himself red uh, iron helmet and iron boots. But the question is, will the BBS be able to restore their flag? Because I was under the impression that the, the second player of the uh, LFNY is carrying the flag and the second player was still was still uh, on the in their base. So I think BBS was miscommunicated somehow because I'm not sure they got their flag back. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Three member, three members of the red team have come back to the match after the respawn, and let's see how this plays out. But Hashmi, I don't understand what happened to the BBS. They gathered together, they penetrated the, the the red team's base, they pretty much devastated the red team. But then they retreated without a flag, and the student two was actually standing on top of the roof, just looking at them. So I don't know what happened there. Maybe they decided to retreat because they knew that once all the red team people just oh, there's a fight going on in the spawn between Zaid and another student. But I think that they retreated because they know that the member that they are looking for isn't there. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting time now because there's only one point stopping BBS from winning. And this point is in the hands of Student 2 
uh, of the Elephant Y team. He's carrying the flag, but the Elephant Y team um, has got to retrieve their flag as well. And it looks like we have four members of the Elephant Y team going for the red flag. They're going to retrieve their flag. Ali fell down. Student 3 is falling down. We have Ali 2, and, and Ali 2 has got the blue flag. Ali 2 has got the blue flag. I saw he's, he's speaking up the game. He's speaking up the flag, and I think he is going to retrieve this flag and score the final point. Ali 2 or the first Ali? Um, I think it was Ali 2. Yeah, Ali 2 is making his or her way back. And he's got, I, I think he's got both flags. And here you go. The blue has won the round. Good job, blue team. The blue team. And that was the last, the last point was really, really hard. The last point was, was a tough one. Yeah, that was, that took a long time. Yeah, well, I can tell, and then the student four just secured, student four secured the flag in the last moment. The blue team was about to score, but the, he's just saved the day, really, student four. So I wonder what teams have to say about their game today. Uh, we are going to join uh, both teams shortly and ask them some questions. So our audience, uh, you can vote really quickly uh, for the most, for the MVP player of the match. So just um, type in who do you think performed or who do you think contributed the most to their team. Uh, type the, your comment in chat and uh, we will make sure we'll interview this player to see uh, his or her take on the game. And is that it, Mr. Afghani? Is the, has the match ended? Uh, yes, uh, we just have a post game. Uh, we will just have... Um, We'll just have a post-game interview with each team, so don't leave us yet. I will join each team. That each team is uh, on their own communication platform. Each team is in their Zoom session, so we'll join each team to have kind of like a um, a sneak peek into what their communication was, uh, to what they were thinking during the game. So we're gonna do it shortly. I'll just notify all the players uh, that uh, post-game interview will start now. Will I also be able to ask questions? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Okay. So I'm just joining. So we are now in the, we're now trying to get to the Elephant Y uh, Zoom session to ask them some questions about uh, what, like what really went maybe wrong in this game. They were victorious last time, but this time something, something happened and the, they couldn't sustain uh, the amount of pressure the red team this time, or the blue team, has been putting on them. So I'm trying to uh, join the um, our French uh, French bilingual school from New York, and then we'll join the BBS. So s stay with us, and we will interview each team. And if you have some questions from the audience, you are free to ask them in the chat, and I'll relay them uh, to our teams. And Hashmeh, you can also ask uh, questions um, as a co-host. Uh, be prepared to ask some questions. All right, so we are about to join um, the Elephant Y team. If they're still... Okay. Would I be able to hear them? Um, because last time when you were talking to the call, I uh, couldn't hear anything. Okay, Hashme, if you join uh, the live stream, you should be able to hear them. Okay, once. this meeting is being recorded. Well, is the live stream on YouTube? Yes, the live stream is on YouTube. And uh, hello, James, are you still with us? Yes, I'm young. All right. Okay, so we're just here 
for the post game interview and uh, Hashmia, our co-host is here with us uh, just to ask you guys a couple of questions um, so how was the game today guys for you uh, so we've noticed uh, there was a there was a quick change there was a quick change of pace in the game so I'm just trying to try we're trying to figure out what was your strategy for this game and did, whether it worked or not yeah the, the the game was so much. Was, um, uh... We were not organized at all, and I personally had a lot of bad connection. The game kept frozen for me. Uh, mm -hmm. for me. Well, yeah, it's uh, for all of us. I mean, before I was standing in a person's dead body, and it was just floating over there. It's like lagging. It's like, now, now there's yeah, a ruthless in our base, and it just disappeared died. in front of me. Okay. And, and yeah, the, the game and just the, stops for me, and, and I, I can't break like, blocks. I can't like, hit people. Like people just minutes. are standing still. And I think it's because they were on their, their, I think it was their personal accounts, because I, I, I remember last game, um, wait, yeah, last game they were on the uh, accounts with the student, um, student 11, for example, student 12, mm -hmm. and they were, they, they had their, their names in the, in the account, so I think that might be why. Yeah, and 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 listen, guys. Yeah, t the technical problem is partially it's my fault because I'm hosting I'm hosting this game from my MacBook, and uh, the MacBooks are not necessarily not obviously <laughs> the best you know hardware to host. So I think both teams and 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 all players were experiencing some latency. I myself was lagging as well, and uh, we are trying to live stream as well. So there's a lot of pressure on my on my laptop. So going forward, we'll try to upgrade and make sure that we have a solid hardware and the the latency and lag is reduced so um so i've just noticed that at the beginning of the game uh you had uh you try to i would say replicate the strategy that you used last time and you try to explore the mine next to the uh, the blue team did it did it work out for you at all uh well the lag we can i can i was trying to i i was one of the two miners who went there and uh, i was trying to mine iron blocks and i mined it and then i got no blocks from the iron i don't know why it was just lagging so much and then I went back because we were all getting killed and we were not organized at all. Okay, so organization was the problem for you guys because when we played your, like, when we our team played you, um, uh, like, first time, uh, I mean, we were just devastated uh, and uh, it looked like you guys, like, you were working like a well-oiled machine, you know, you had team of miners, you had players who were building the wall, and this time it looked like completely different, so I was wondering what what went different for you, but it looks like it's just a like, little bit of miscommunication and the technical lag as well. All right, so uh, so it looks like it looks like we are draw now. It's one for you guys and one for our team. So hopefully we'll be able playing um, you guys again in the nearest future. So we can uh, you know have a, a game, a best of three game, and see who will uh, take the, 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 the take the victory next time. So uh, Hashmi is yeah. here with us. Uh, Hashmi, do you have any questions for uh, the um, LFNY uh, team? And, and by the way, is it is it the right abbreviation for your team? Is it LFNY? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Hashmi, um, are you here with us? Yes, I'm here with you. I'm okay. not sure if you can hear because I'm behind on the live stream. But one of the questions I have, if you could fix anything you've done in the game, what would you have fixed? What yeah. do you think is the one main key that would have led you to victory again? Okay, thank you. And, and guys, uh, I probably cannot hear her because Hashmi is on, the, on Discord with me and um, viewers can hear her. And so, so what she asked uh, you is if you can fix one thing in your strategy and gameplay for this game, what would it be? Lag. Lag and being uh, more organized. Okay, lag and being more organized. Well, from our end, we'll try to make sure that the lag is, I wouldn't say disappearing for, for the next game, but it will be, uh, we'll try to make it minimal for, for the next game. Well, thank you guys. Thank you so much for um, not giving up on, on the match, even though it was hard to sometimes compete when it's latency. And, and being a, a gamer myself, I know what it feels like when you have lag and you, can actually, you cannot actually perform. So we'll try our best to fix that. And uh, we are looking forward to competing with you again. Sure. Thank you, Yevgeny, for making this game possible. Thank you, guys. And if you want to just catch the stream, because we're going to join the, the BBS team now. We're going to join them on their Zoom and ask them about this game. Thank you, guys, and uh, see you soon. Thank you very much, Yevgeny. 
All right, so we're now joining uh, our the BBS team uh, shortly. I'm trying to retrieve their Zoom in a second. Um, okay. So yeah, both teams were both teams were uh, on their communication channel. So we just joined the LFNY team and their coach, uh, Mr. James. Uh, we're now joining. We're, try, we're now trying to join the BBS team and their coach, Miss Fatma. Um, just trying to trying to join, trying to retrieve the Zoom link from them. And thank you for st thank you for staying by. We still have uh, lots of viewers with us. Uh, and Miss Fatma, the coach of the BBS team, is retrieving the link so we can have an interview with the BBS team and um, to see what changed really, what changed in their strategy from the last time where uh, there was just you know, they were disorganized and they didn't have a strategy. But this time around, it looked like uh, the team uh, knew where to go, what to do. And it was it was really well, uh, well played. So we're now joining uh, our uh, the BBS team and you will hear them shortly. Uh, Hashmi, are you here with us? Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. So we are joining the BBS team and we're going to ask them some questions. Okay, guys. Hello. Hello. All right. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so you guys are on live now on air uh, so the viewers of the live stream can hear you and we only have two players unfortunately i hope i hope to see uh more players on the bbs team uh but I mean, we're just here hashmi and i here to, with you to ask you some questions about the game so what changed uh for you guys last time uh, the bbs team just lost five to one and this game you guys won was that five to zero so what changed your strategy what helped you um uh, lead your game to victory i wasn't here last game uh so i have nothing to do i'm like i'm not a part of the, of the last game so i don't know but like this game i just use my basic strategy just ignore everyone and just do my own thing try get their flag and come back to base okay and and ali so what, what was your what was your nickname in the in the match during the match uh my name is ali a2 ali a2 okay and so so we were hashmi and i were just looking at the at the lf and why the opposing team strategy so they were trying to defend their base really well they have the they have the bedrock they had the spider web but somehow you were managed to bypass all their efforts so how how do how were how were we able to just do it so effortlessly all the time i mean i've been playing minecraft for like seven years and that was no challenge since when I play Minecraft, I play parkour games, PvP games, so I'm used to like hard challenges. Okay, all right, all right. So, and if you were to maybe point out one or two players who you think deserve a praise on the opposing team, were you able to? Will you be able to do that? Just maybe point out some like two, one or two players on the opposing team who you know maybe defeated you a couple of times. Um, I'm not sure about their names because I haven't really paid attention, but there were some people who managed to stop me like twice. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thanks, Ali. Um, well, uh, we have Leah here as well. Leah, hi. Are you, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, uh, thanks, Leah. Thank you. So, um, so what was, what is your take on the game? Uh, what strategy did you have? And, um, uh, like what was your, maybe what was your team strategy and what was your personal contribution to today's match uh i think it's because our strategy is that we divided each other and we communicated and i was supposed to be on the attack team but i was better at defense so i stuck at defense okay all right okay uh thank you and we have uh, our general manager the bbs esport club general manager with us miss fatma uh miss fatma hi are you here with us today yes Hi, I'm here. <laughs> hey, so you were probably, um, well, very happy to see the team perform today. So yeah. why don't you share with us uh, what was it like in terms of, uh, you know, uh, overseeing the team from your perspective? I think it helped for us to sort of get on Zoom prior to the game and strategize, uh, talk about the importance of communicating well 
and uh, decide on who's going to be on defense, who's going to be on attack. I think um, the main difference between this game and the last is definitely communication. Okay, yeah, and uh, so I was just speaking to uh, the LFNY team before, and uh, they pointed out two things that, well, they kind of let them know. The first one was a technical problem, like a lag and latency, and you guys probably experienced that as well. But they also pointed out that their team was disorganized this time. Uh, for some reason, I didn't, they didn't specify why, but it looked like the BBS team was super organized this time, and the strategy uh, helped you win. Mm -hmm. All right, so it looks like we have one on one uh, between the Elephant Y and BBS. So I am super excited and super thrilled to our, I wouldn't say final game, but the game that will actually determine who is the winner in the best of three uh, series. Uh, so, uh, Ali uh, and, and Leah, will, will you guys be with us for the next game? Yeah, Hopefully. definitely. Okay, and we also have Hashmir with us, who's been a, a co-hosting us uh, the entire time. Uh, she was, uh, she was, she's been a beautiful person, uh, a commentator to be with. So, Hashmir, do you have any questions or comments that you would like to ask um, BBS? I would like to ask, um, who was the person who strategized this time? Okay, so guys, I'm not sure if you heard Hashmiya, but the audience on YouTube can hear her. What she asked is, uh, who was the person who strategized this time? Uh, Hashmiya was our lead in a couple of games before, so now she was, well, sort of, I wouldn't say promoted, but she was <laughs> she was one of the ad admin team this time, commentating on the game for our audience on, on YouTube. But so who was behind the strategy this time for the BBS team? I think Baha was the strongest player and helped us win. And we had, um, I forgot his name, but he kept getting us iron and kept bringing us together. Mm -hmm. That would be Tarek. Tarek was so with Tarek us was today, Mr. Afghani. Mm -hmm. Baha um, did not play. So that was really good for us to have him on board. Uh, he had some technical difficulties joining the last game, but we were very thrilled to have him with us. And he really helped the team with uh, inventory. Yeah, good. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to see this, you know, distribution of roles in the game. Some people go attack, some people defend, there are minors. So it's very exciting to see that. And hopefully with the with the future update of the map, we will have even more roles because, because we're planning to include some neutral objectives, which both team can capture. All right, guys. Well, I would just to say thank you for you, Fatma, for being a general manager for the BBS team, for being there to support us, our student and uh, supporting the development of BBS eSport Club this entire Entire time. Yeah, and thank you so much, Mr. Efkini, for making it all happen. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. I think it's a joint effort, really. This you cannot yeah. imagine. You cannot imagine how many people are behind this, starting from IT managers. I'm not going to call names, but just to, starting from IT managers who manage our accounts, create accounts for the posing team, uh, to our graphic designer who creates uh, this stunning uh, visuals for us for. Uh, the Hashmiya, our co-hosts, you, Fatma, our players, our team members who are taking their time out of the busy schedules. I know Ali and Leah, you are whether you are high high middle school, high school students. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes, like, I'm high school. Yeah, so I'm we, at the end of middle school. Yeah, and so I, I mean, I mean, we've, we've all been there. We know how busy your schedules are, but you guys helping uh, our, our build community around our common interests, and it's just also uh, Mr. Kevin Fulbrook, our deputy director, who's supporting our cause of esport, and many, many other players. I can spend, and we have two moderators with us as well. We have uh, Miss Huda and Miss Katrina, our tech coaches from from BBS, who was responsible for moderating the chat, making sure that uh, every, everything is safe everybody leaves the, the live stream safe and happy so i'm super excited about the the next game about the uh the next live stream we're going to end now and um, have wish everybody good night for those of you who are in in, in the kuwait which a good day for those of you who are watching us from new york and just thank you for taking the time to watch this live stream and uh we'll see you next time bye bye good night guys